Hi, as I told some of you, uh, the problem with doing videos instead of blogging is that by the time you record, which I only do in morning light, and then edit, which is again time consuming, and publish, uh, every, everybody's already seen spoilers on blogs. And, but I'm, I've only got myself to blame having abandoned my blog. But anyway, here we are. So I've got the, the price breakdown of the Look Fantastic Beauty Advent Calendar for 2020. This year's Advent Calendar is packed very differently. Black and gold the packaging is, uh, with some pink to it. And this year there is just the one door. Until last year we had two doors like this. Hang on. Like this. That was from two years ago. The 2017 Look Fantastic Advent Calendar was stunning, Alice in Wonderland themed, and the drawers look like this. And I actually still use mine to store makeup brushes. That top uh, pops open so you get a mirror and it looks like a vanity. Very, very stunning packaging. Now, this Advent Calendar has indeed gone on pre-order, although it will not start shipping until the 12th of October. Where to buy, I will link in the description box below. Full disclosure, it is an affiliate link. Clicking my affiliate link and buying at no extra cost to you earns me an incredibly small commission and I, I think at the end of the year I'll be able to buy a Nooks cleanser or something or a Kudali cleanser. Oh yes before I start telling you uh, to my regular trolls I don't have the advent calendar yet it only starts shipping on the 12th of October not Albus Dumbledore here can't wave a wound and say Archie your advent calendar Brands don't send me PR samples to Portria channel, first of all, and secondly, I call it as I see it. I'm lucky if I get responses to my emails with information, which I have done in this case, uh, because I think I was one of the first to share the image of the LF Advent calendar this year. Now, this year's Advent calendar costs £85. Uh, subscribers can get £15 off. New subscribers can get £15 off with a code and that code I will write down in the description box below. That's not bad. You can also, if you are Glossybox subscribers, use your Glossybox credit. And this year the total value of this advent calendar is claimed to be more than £460. Eight of these are supposed to be full-sized, nine are makeup, eleven are skin care, four are bath and body, and one is hair care. Let's see how far the claims are true, what is inside, how much they cost and what the total value comes up to and how many product repeats there are. Off we go. This works deep sleep body cocoon full size. This retails at £30. Three now cream eyeshadow, the shade you get is 313. At three mils, this is full size and retails at £14.95 according to Look Fantastic. Now, on Look Fantastic itself, I saw this retailing for £12.95, not £14.95. And it is actually on sale at the moment at £10.36. £10 the next product is Rodial Dragon's Blood Cleansing Water. 100 mils is what you get. That, according to Look Fantastic, is worth 17 quid. A full size is 320 mils, retailing at 33 quid. Not going to count that. Espa Balancing Moisturizer at 55 mils is next. That indeed does retail for 42 pounds. Filoga Time Filler 15 mils is next. Apparently, that is worth 18 pounds 50. 50 mils retails at 62 pounds. That is full size, so not going to count this either. E cooking vitamin C serum is next. You get 10 mils. It is actually half sized. Now, full size is 20 mils, and that retails at 43 pounds. Although at the moment it is on sale for 30 pounds 16 pence. If you want, you can halve 43 and count it as 21 pounds 50 pence, but um, I don't think I'll do so right now. E cooking is a brand that their acne serum actually amazingly worked well for me. Pat and Isabel O'Sullivan, give me a wave, those of you who know who they are, uh, turned up about five or six days ago, thanks to my having worn a mask all day, face mask. Thankfully, they didn't rupture last night, so I was able to record this video today. The acne serum would have put faith to this. Unfortunately, it also contains wheat, which gives me arctic area. I can't use that serum. I'm not sure if the vitamin C serum contains wheat. The Cordali Vino Pure Gel Cleanser is next. You get 30 mils of it. Full size is 150 mils. That's a cleanser, 150 mils. That retails at 16 quid. So I'm not going to count this. Mio Clay Away Body Cleanser is next. You get 30 mils of it. Full size is 200 mils, retailing at 21 pounds. I'm not going to count this either. However, the next one is from Lord and Berry. 
not the RI pencil, don't worry, it, this time it is a brow crayon and you get 10 grams of it which is full sized and retails at 15 pounds. The Avant Harmonious Rose Quartz Revitalizing and Farming Mask is next, you get 50 mils which sells at 79 pounds. Now last year as well, Avant was the big ticket item in Look Fantastic. Last year it was the overnight treatment, 50 mils again, which came up to, which retailed at 85 pounds. This year it is the mask, the revitalizing and farming rose quartz mask, which retails at 79 pounds. So, uh, this one big ticket item almost comes up to the full value of the Advent calendar by itself. Whether it is a product that you want to use absolutely is something that you have to decide. The Ritual Sakura Rejuvenating Pink Soul Scrub, 125 grams, full size is 250 grams, which retails at £14.90. What you get is half size therefore, so you can, if you want, halve it and write the value down as £7.50. Now all of this I will write in the description box below, so you can do your own calculations if you don't believe me. The next product, you know what I'm going to say, you know what this one is. Again and again and again and again, yes, Eve Long Cleanser. 20 mils, which standalone retails at 16 pounds. I don't know, I feel like we've said this over and over and over. I know there are people who've never tried one, but the vast majority of people who've been buying advent calendars, beauty boxes, gifts with pouches over and over and over have quite a few Evlon cleansers in their stash. And I feel that brands are being a bit tone deaf in the sense that they could have sent something else instead. You know, Evlon has a nice mask, a rescue mask. Evlom has a morning cleanser, a gel cleanser, Evlom has a cleansing oil capsules, anything really, a sunscreen, Evlom has a SPF, any of those could have been sent. I know this is their most famous product. The other thing is it, is, it contains mineral oil and that clogs pores for those of us who are incredibly acne prone. I can't go near this. I use it on my body. Right, I'm just going to stop and move on to the next product. The next is from Ila Masca. It is the loaded lip polish. You get a mini in the shade Vogue. Full size is £19. This isn't just a lip gloss. It's actually also a more pigmented lip gloss. So yeah, it's in between a gloss and a lipstick. The next product is from Moulton Brown. This time it is the Rhubarb and Rose Body Wash. 100 mils you get. Full size is 300 mils. Now, uh, last year they sent out Pink Pepper. Uh, this time it seems to be rhubarb everywhere. The next product is the LMS Pro Collagen Oxygenating Night Cream. 30 mils you get 50 mils is full size and that retails at a whopping 99 pounds. So uh, the 30 mil size apparently retails at 63 quid. Now I'm going to count it because you know full size is what we count over here. The next product is from Philip Kingsley. Yes indeed it is their elasticizer and yes indeed it is 40 mils. 75 mils at 22 quid being full size. Now this time the fragrance is different. You get Mayan vanilla and orange blossom. The Philip Kingsley elasticizer has been a staple uh, inclusion in the Look Fantastic Beauty Advent calendar. I think even from 2050. I can't remember if I got one the first year. But yeah, I, I bought my first Look Fantastic Advent calendar in 2015. Then I bought it 16, 17 and 18. And 19 last year was the first time I did not buy a Look Fantastic Advent calendar. The next product is from Luxie, also included last year. But the brush itself is different. This time you get 522 tapered highlighter brush. This sells at 15 quid. The next product is from Diego Dalla Palma. You get a black eyeliner. This sells at £9.47. Apparently you get a black eyeliner. The next is from Glove. It is an eye mask. I didn't even know Glove had eye masks. I thought they had those, you know, very fluffy mitts that you used as uh, face cleansers. Uh, right, this this apparently is an eye mask in navy blue and retails at £12.99. Hmm. The next product is from Ren. It is the daily, the air shade glow tonic. Uh, you get 50 mils of it. 100 mils retails at £15. Not going to harm it. The next product is from Natasha Denona. I'm so happy to see Natasha Denona being included in more and more advert calendars. However, this is their mini blush and glow. It looks like that. And by itself, it retails at £16. For reference, this would be the size that you get. And then I'll just show This isn't it. This is actually bronze and highlighter. The one that you get is blush and highlighter. And yeah, that's the size you get. And open that and those are the pounds. While that is enough, I'm just saying that this is actually 
going to look a lot smaller than you expect. The next product is from Sleek. You either get the hydrating or mattifying version. You get it is the primer. Now this again is full sized at 20 mils and retails at £7.99. The next is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. You get the Lash Bright Voluminizing Mascara Travel Size, which by itself retails at £14. The next is from Tan Lux. Again, this is a brand that we're seeing more and more in advert calendars these days. It is a super glow. 10 mils is what you get. And full size is 30 mils, retailing at 35 pounds. Last product is the Omorovica. No, not the Queen of Hungary list. <laughs> that came last year. This time you get the Silver Skin Savior. You get 15 mils of it. Full size is 50 mils, which retails at 69 pounds. I love the Silver Skin range. That would have helped get uh, Pat and Isabella O'Sullivan off my face, eh? <laughs> Let's just count those full sizes, shall we? This works Deep Sleep Body Cocoon, 30 quid. Threena Cream Eyeshadow, 14.95, bringing us to 44.95. And then you add the Espa Balancing Moisturizer at 42 quid. And you come up with 86.95, 86 pounds, 99, and 95 pounds. So first, three full size products out of eight already crossing the value, the, the cost of the Advent calendar there. And then you add the Lord and Berry Brow Crayon, 15 quid, 10195. Then comes the Avant uh, Firming Mask, which is at 79, bringing us to 180 pounds 95. And then comes the Luxie Brush, 15 quid, 195 pounds 95 pence. And then you have the Glove Eye Mask, 12 quid 99, bringing us to 208 pounds 99. Then comes a sleek primer, bringing us to 216.95. So eight full-size products alone brings us to 216 pounds 95 pence. The advent calendar retails at 85. Ah, uh, so that's more than double. In full sizes, eight full sizes alone, not counting the minis, not counting the standalone retail products. Now, counting the standalone retail products. ABH Mascara, that is a mini that actually retails by itself at 14 quid, so you get £230.95. And then comes the Natasha Denona Mini Blush and Glow, uh, that brings us to, from 16 quid, £246.93. The Evelon Cleanser retails by itself, but I will never count an Evelon Cleanser. For the rest of this decade because there are that many that have been sent out in beauty. I was a beauty box subscriber from 2014 when they first began until 2019 when I stopped for budgeting reasons and uh, I, I think I amassed at least a dozen Evelon cleansers. I gave away quite a few. What you need to do is write down the products in here that you will absolutely ride or die need. Yeah, ride or die need. Just write those down. The rest is just noise. Uh, if you missed anything, they are in the description box. Now write down their prices. If they are full sized only, if they're minis, minis are generally given as gifts with purchase. We've seen some amazing gifts with purchase recently. Uh, even Look Fantastic does beauty bags as GWPs. So, so if something is 30 mils, retails at 30 mils. Now this, for instance, this is, no, this is actually 100 mils. Yeah, this retails at, what, 26 quid or something, I think, all up legs. Now, if this was 10 mils, if you got a 10 mil sample, you can't count the value at 2.6 pounds, right? 100 mils retailing at 26 quid. 10 mils retailing at 2.6 quid. That is how brands calculate the value, the worth of their advert calendars. When you buy this, they may give you the 10 mil gratis. If there was a 10 mil, there isn't for all. A 10 mil hair product probably covers about a quarter of your scalp. Forget it. Don't count the cost of minis. If there are full size products that are ride or die for you, count those. Write down the cost. Now add them up. Does it count to 85 quid? Now look at how much you're wasting. Can you use something? Or will you have to give away more? Can you even give away more? Or will it all have to be, will a lot of it have to be binned? Think about these things before you decide to buy. That is my, uh, that is something that I've been saying this year in particular, because the pandemic, as I said, has made me very objective and looking at how much of it is marketing and how much of it is genuinely good value. That is it. So thoughts, skincare heavy rather than makeup heavy this time. 
uh, it's been that sort of leaning that way, but you know, there's always been, I mean, last year there was a Morphe eyeshadow palette. Uh, there was something from Melo, there was something from Ico. I'm surprised not to see Ico this time because Ico has been in an LF advent calendar practically every year. Yeah, they also had makeup from Delilah Cosmetics. So. Last year they also had Oscar and Emma Hardy. Again, you know, two brands that I'm kind of surprised to see excluded because they've been there regularly. First Aid Beauty, another one. Uh, there till last year. I'm also surprised to see bubble tea excluded because bubble tea, the bath bombs, there's been a bath bomb in a beauty box or advent calendar for quite a while. I think for me, the 2017 look fantastic advent calendar was a sort of zenith. I'm also surprised not to see a proper lipstick in here. There's usually always a full lipstick. I'm also kind of surprised that there's just the one cream eyeshadow. Usually you get, you know, at least a quad. Of eyeshadow. Last year there was a Morphe palette. The year before that we had a Sleek palette full and then we've had uh, an Anila Masca Quad, the very first Look Fantastic Advent calendar. So there's always been more eyeshadow than just a single cream eyeshadow. I don't, and you know particularly now that everybody's wearing masks I feel that eye makeup has to be, is being more emphasized and yeah, where are my eyeshadows? It's just the one cream, yeah? So yeah, very, very, very mixed about this. Will I get this? I doubt it. I'm not blown away by the Zadvant calendar. Not utterly blown away. I was utterly blown away by the 2017 Advent calendar from Look Fantastic, the, the unboxing of which you can see in the description box below. This one, I feel that it is, compared to last year's Advent calendar, better, but not quite the 2017. I think I even like 2018 better than this one. So are you getting this advent calendar? Are you interested? How do you feel about these products? Do you feel that there's a lot of brand repeats in here? Or do you feel that this time it's all new? Do you, how do you feel about the long cleanser? Are you happy to get it again and again? Do you think that the Avant mask is a good product? Have you tried anything from Avant skincare before? How do you feel about it? Do tell me all of that in the comments below. I would love to know. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do hit the subscribe button. Please do ring the notifications bell. And I will speak to you in my next advent calendar video soon.